Hello and welcome! It's Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk. Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's really great to have you with me. So if you're brand new to my channel, or you've never been here before, uh, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Oh, let me just move that in properly into my field of vision. And yes, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, do check out my other videos. I've got over 300 videos on here now with all sorts of different hints, tips, uh, inspiration for stamping, inspiration for card making, some scrapbooking, bag making, box making, all sorts of lovely fun stuff. And by hitting that bell button, you become part of this fantastic crafty community of people that watch my videos and watch some of my friends' videos. And we seem to kind of all hang out you know online on YouTube which is absolutely lovely and we kind of got to know each other a little bit so it's really really good fun so hello everybody who's coming in on the live so if you're watching this on the replay hi to you too and uh, don't forget that you can comment below you can't be part of the live chat anymore obviously because I'm not live anymore but if you're on uh, live now say hello so hi Ellie, Tina, Michelle, Steph, Connie, uh, Janice, uh, Christine, Cindy, April, Randy, Michelle, uh, hi Sandra, venting Ruth, do you mean evening Ruth or vent, you're about to vent Sandra, uh, Tracy and oh who else is there, Melanie, hi everybody, right so everyone say a quick hello to each other and I am just going to grab up my daughter's tablet so I can read your comments and then we'll get started. So uh, I really do need to return a stamp set to a friend of mine that she very kindly lent me. So I thought it'd be nice to have another play with it and it's rooted in nature so I have it here. And I was just doing a bit of tidying up and glanced down and noticed that I have these brown paper bags. Now, sometimes I use these to make brown paper, uh, paper bag albums, but I also was, I need to send little gifts off to some friends of mine who've had birthdays. And I thought, oh, I could do with decorating them. Let's go on and do some decorating. So I thought it would be fun to do that. So while I was watching Esther's video just a minute ago, so Esther's my sister, Stampin' Star Creations, I got on ahead and sprinkled a little bit of brushes, got my good old spritzer massive garden sprayer here. I do have the Stampin' Up! ones, but this was the one to hand. And I I was, I tried to be really careful, so if any of you have watched my previous videos and my adventures with sprinkles, you do know that I'm a little bit heavy handed with them, but look, I was really good. I just did a little sprinkle and a little sprinkle and I spritzed it. And what I really love, and I guess I'm just putting it into words now, is the fact that when you spray it with the water, it actually sprays the powder a little bit. It kind of makes it explode a bit and it reacts with the water. So. I made use of that and and I would suggest that you know if you want to have a go doing this it's super fun so look at the results I then got my heat tool dried it very quickly I did do a little bit of patting but not too much because I really love this splatter spray it's so cool so uh, here we've got some of the purple blues yellows another yellow a turquoise one and a bit of purple and blue there so we're going to just have a play and we'll start at the very beginning, a very good place to start, as they say in the songs. And I've grabbed out Blackberry Bliss and Night of Navy here. I wanted something dark to show up on the back of this. So, hi, Subo Bell. I seem to be just buffering. Oh, oh dear. Right. Maybe re, re come back in, if that makes sense. I love what we have sprinkles in SU colours. Yes. Does it bleed through the bags? Um, no, it hasn't bled through to that side, Randy. No, it's nothing inside. And I've dried it now with the heat tool, so it's all good. Okay, so now just be aware that you've got this bit section here. So if you want to fold that, I guess, back down and just be aware that it is there. So just keep your stamping sort of there and there is that little fold there too so just be aware of that okay so how about we just start with some trees and then we'll go from there so we've got that tree and we have got this 
cute tree here. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Jen. Hi, Monica. Hi, Jeannie. Hello to anybody who I've missed. Right, let's get this lovely tree on. So my plan is to do a bit of stamping with this and then do the fabulous a baby wipe technique because I haven't done it with this stamp set yet. And as I said, I've got to return this to my friend. And so I thought we'd have a go playing with it and see what happens. <gasps> I love this, having the trees with this like crazy sprinkly background. It's such good fun. Let's get you in a bit closer. There we go. We can see the action a bit more. It is a very good place to start, isn't it, Ellie? And I want this very much a solid colour. I'm not doing any, you know, second generation stamping. I know that you guys tend to see me do that quite a bit, but I'm not doing that with this. I really just want this solid colour going through. And I'm loving that. So simple and gorgeous. And I think, what about just the lovely sentiment, you are wonderful, at the top there. And this could do for any occasion, really. You know, birthday, thank you, all kinds of things. And I tend to buy these bags in bulk. You know, I buy a few hundred at a time. So there we go. You are wonderful. How cute. That's it, that's done. I think that's done. Because I was thinking, oh, should I do a bit of splattering? But it's already got the splatters on it, so I do not need to do any more. So moving on, let's keep going. Right, let's have a think what we've got here. Um, can we do those trees again, or should we go for a different tree? Oh, there's this nice big one here. I've not heard about the baby wipe net technique. Oh, Cindy. It's a technique where you put reinkers onto your onto a, a baby wipe or a felt pad or something, and then you create your own custom ink pad. Have you you not seen that technique before? Oh, you have you've heard about it, but not seen it. Sorry, I've just reread what you've said. Esther's shouting. Yes. Well, I feel like I'm shouting a bit. I don't know why. I, I, so it's so funny. I can feel quite sort of sleepy towards the evening time and then I get online and suddenly I become quite animated and energetic so it's quite bizarre you guys t see, tend to uh, you know energize me so there we go have a little tree over here and then I think another you are wonderful Just stop here. That'll do, won't it? You do excite us. I know. Hi, Louisa. You haven't missed much. Yeah, I like that. I, I, I don't think it needs much more. I'm moving on. Let's go. Right. A ready pinky one now. Oh, what about this great big hunk of a tree? I'm going to have to sit and spray all these down in a minute because... Um, these are all getting very mucky. Not mucky, inky. Right, where's my little raggy roo? I had it here a minute ago, sitting on it as usual. Right, I'll get that ready for cleaning. How did how did you do the colours on the bag? I missed the beginning. Oh, I, I didn't actually do the video, but I told you about it. So basically, I got the pigment sprinkles and I sprinkled a very little amount of pigment sprinkles and then got my spray bottle and spritzed it and it just kind of went zoom like that. And then I got my heat tool and I dried it very quickly. So And then if there was any pools of water, I got my rag and kind of like dabbed it up a bit. So I did all that before I came on live. But I have done previous videos using the sprinkles, so if you want to see the technique, then please do look at the previous, some of my previous videos. I have done some. Oh, gorgeous! It just looks like a fabulous... Actually, it looks like the tree's on fire. I was going to say it looks like a fabulous sunset, but it does look like the tree's on fire. There we go. Never mind. 
to th words to thank you for all you do or just for you I think I'll just do a little just for you because that's nice and simple isn't it and it's small you see and that could just you know be a sentiment for a gift or whatever it's um you know not too complicated those words are they so this is blackberry bliss that i'm using here I'll just use it over there we go i think that's just perfect i don't, I don't think it needs much more and obviously if i'm gonna you know be putting the little gift in there and i'm gonna be folding it over you know that's that's the perfect kind of dimension maybe with a little peg or something so I know it starts off big to start off with but you know by the time that's folded down with a little peg or even once more that's quite cute I'm just gonna have these in my stash now I tend to recycle gift bags when people give me gifts I just keep the bags and try and recycle them but um yeah, this is this is such a cool way of, of decorating things. Right. Um, oh, there's this lovely leaf I have here. What about that one? What about doing that with Knight of Navy this time? Did I really catch you live, Ruth? Says Wanda. Yes, you did, Wanda. I'm talking to you now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Karen. You love this idea. You thrive with an audience, Ruth. It's the actress in me. Oh, yes, darling, it is. It is. It's the actress. I feed off my audience, darling. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I did theatre, film and television at university. So, oh, yes, I'm a little bit of a drama queen. Right. Those are cute leaves. Um, should we should just go up in a row. Let's go up in a row and see what happens. There we go. That's quite nice. blue on here just for you yeah I don't think that needs much more and I, I just love the seeing the juxtaposition of the the dark blue against the brown and then how it changes with it against the purple and then the turquoise I don't think you need much more than that beautiful right what about what about let's have a think um Ooh, what about, what about we do, you are wonderful, I'm just cleaning that off naughtily at the side, I'm just doing, you are wonderful in the middle of this splodge, and then having a little bit of a leaf off like that, and a little leaf off like that, and a little leaf like that, there we go. Um, I suppose we could bring in this little leaf here. Gosh, it's like I'm going to use every single stamp. I don't think I might use, I won't use all the sentiment ones, but I'm certainly going to use all these leafy ones, I think. I love that Stampin' Up! have pigments the same as theirs. Yeah, the pigment, you mean the um, pigment sprinkles are the same colour. Is that what you mean? Or? Um, where did I get the bags from? I think these were from a company called either Rypack or Midpack. R Y E M I R Y E P A C or Midpack. Yeah. Basically, they're usually called block bottom bags, and that's because they fold out. They've got a block bottom on them. Okay. So. Wanda says, I put my pre-order in late last night and got an email this morning. It's already shipped. Woohoo! Yes, I've put my order in today. <sighs> Rather large order. Uh, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who supported me these last few weeks. Uh, there's been loads of you who have kindly donated via PayPal and so that enabled me to purchase a rather hefty amount of stamps and other things so I am so looking forward to doing an unboxing with you guys and I will be doing a special video with one of the stamp sets that I will play with 
brand new in and video it and send it to anybody that supported me this last month, either by uh, purchasing from me or PayPal, PayPaling me or doing a super chat for me in November. <coughs> so I will do exactly the same again. So if you super chat me, PayPal me or buy from me in December, I will then do a special video for you guys in January. Or I might even shoot it with some of the new stuff and then I'll keep it and save it and, and share it with you in January. Right, I think that's done for that one. Let's move on. Right, this leafy one is very pretty. I wonder if we can do almost a little kind of wreathy effect. Let's have a look. Let's fold that down. Let's see if we can do a, a bit of a wreath. So, ta -da. Hi, Sheila! You have to wait to pre-order. Oh. Well, I know I'm not going to be able to play with everything straight away, but I'm hoping that over Christmas, that when my kids are, I don't have to get the kids to school and everything's a little bit more relaxed, I'm going to be on here loads, absolutely loads over Christmas, because um, it will just be a nice time to connect with you guys and maybe do an all-day stamping day again and and all that kind of jazz so I might do some more challenges and things like that that is cute I like that that's just nice right next one I'm running out this is the last two of these ones oh this big tree is calling to me do I want this big tree I haven't done it in the blue yet so I have some white lunch sacks. Yes, you could easily do that on the lunch sacks. Sheila's been moving staff drivers. Are, oh, Sheila, have you moved? She's moved, yay. You're doing all that fun stuff of having to move addresses and things like that. Right, so don't forget to share these videos out with your friends if you like what you see, and if you like the ideas, if you know somebody who might like them as well, please share them out. It really does help me a lot. You are wonderful. You you are wonderful. No, you're one no, you're wonderful. <laughs> right, last one. The white bags are ace because they are waxy on the inside, so nothing bleeds through. Perfect. Are you talking about the Stampin' Up um, bags, Christine, or are you talking about some bags in general? Right, now this is an interesting one. We've got a huge purpley thing here, haven't we? And some turquoise. So, I don't know. Let's just do something a bit fun and abstract. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Because... Let's do some leaves around that purple. Maybe some leaves growing out of there as well. And then let's have a think. I don't know. I'm just kind of going for it. I'm not really thinking about it too much. I'm just having fun playing with the different shapes and seeing what happens. <clears throat> oh, I haven't played with these leaf ones yet, have I? Let's do something with those. Yeah, these colours are gorgeous. It's the Bermuda Bay with the Wisteria Wonder, or was it Gorgeous Grape? I can't remember. Anyway, the purpley one. It's no, that's Bermuda Bay. Gorgeous grape. But what I like about them is that there's kind of hints of other colours within them as well. It's not just one single single colour, it's you know other colours. You've given me another idea for youth group. Yay, the purple looks like 
one of the frosted flowers. Oh, yes, it does a little bit. It does. And it happened by accident. I didn't plan it that way. It just happened. Okay, I'm just having fun with these leaves. And it's interesting working on this scale and this shape, I suppose, because I don't tend to work on this sort of scale. So it is, it is fun to kind of mix up your stamping by just changing the shape of your canvas. That, that really does help sometimes. Right, I think I'm going to stop there. I want to get on and do this uh, baby wipe technique with you. So this, I've just let the spray kind of do its thing. And um, yeah, just leave, just leave that. The purple looks like in the fuss. So it's just because you're... No, honestly, Wanda, it, I just went, I plopped it and sprayed it and it did its thing. I, you know, I cannot take credit for it really at all. It just happened that way. All right, so let's have a quick review of what we've done. So for those of you who've just popped on, we'll, we'll do a quick review and then we'll get started on the baby wipe technique. So to start off with, I had plain brown paper bags, sprinkled some of the pigment sprinkles on, got my spray bottle and just sprayed it and then dried it off. So some of them I did damp, I did um pad off with the towel and then use my heat tool so there we go that's the blackberry bliss just so simple and easy just and you know these fold flats so they're great just to have in your your cupboard for your gift wrap or whatever so just for you just for you you are wonderful and if you want to do both sides you can you know once this is dried you could then just do the other side that's quite cute. That's the Knight of Navy. It looks very dark though. It looks like a black, but it is a Knight of Navy. Right, so that's those. Yeah, the ones that Stampin' Up sold were, um, what do they call them? The cafe style bags. I don't think they do them anymore. They were, um, they were food safe. They were like, had a plastic coating on the inside so that you could put like cookies and whatever flapjacks or whatever in them so mm. yes they definitely do got the pizza boxes Karen said she loved the last one the best what with all the leaves <clears throat> that's fair enough right so the next technique right so I've got my uh, boxes of reinkers here so there's different ways you can do this. You can do it with baby wipes. So if I just demonstrate it, I'm not actually going to use baby wipes for this one, but I will show you what to do. So where you get baby wipes, look, my fingers are really mucky. <laughs> Pretend it's a clean baby wipe. You get a couple. Now this technique does benefit from using baby wipes that aren't the cheapest because the cheaper baby wipes I find are very fibrous and they do tend to kind of come off onto your stamps and that's not necessarily a good thing so right then one gets the ink ink um re-inkers now I've just got to have a think what I'm doing here um I think I'll do, I'm going to do blue going into purples. But as I said, I'm not actually going to do it onto the this baby wipe. I'm actually going to do it onto a piece of felt. So in here, I have a piece of felt. Now this already has a bit of colour on it, but um, it's it's gone quite dry. Um, let me see if I've got another one. Oh, I have one here. Um, what's on this one? Oh, I can't remember. I don't know what. Let's see if I can. Oh, it's oh, it's turquoisey and green. Oh well, I'm gonna go with it. Right, so I'm just gonna clean off these to start off with. 
all these nice and clean. I'm at work wanting to watch so bad. I'm going to watch a replay. Oh, yeah, don't get into trouble, Tessie. Yeah. You like the yellow one, says Tracy. Hi, Linda. Right, sorry, bear with. I'm just giving these a wee bit of a clean up. I don't know what my son is listening to in the front room. Oh my goodness, ink everywhere. Right. Okay, so let's ink up this felt pad. Now I've previously had other colours on here, so I'm really sorry about that. But I'm going to take out Blackberry Bliss. Ooh, a bit of a bit of real red. I want some really rich dark colours. So we're just going to put Blackberry Bliss on here. And we're just literally spotting on the colour. And I want to create a bit of an ombre-ish effect. Okay. Oh my goodness, look at my hands. <laughs> yeah, baby whites do look work well because they are... Yeah, if they're the good quality ones. So don't buy your cheapy 40p ones. You know... The only thing about baby wipes sometimes, you know when you first open a packet of baby wipes, they can be super duper juicy. They can almost be a bit too juicy. Right, I'm going to have that going to Melon Mambo. So I've got Blackberry Bliss going into Real Red and then into a bit of Melon Mambo. And this is just one of those plastic cases that you can purchase from Stampin' Up!, they're quite cool. Right, I'm going to see how juicy this is because sometimes it is worth doing one little spritz of water just to get everything running nicely together. She says, she hopes. <laughs> it would be. Let's test it out. Okay, let's do it with one of these trees. Okay. And then, oh, that's pretty juicy. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, right, you can't hardly see the different colour variation just yet. But it is there, it is there, I promise. It is darker on the top. And I think the, um, once it dries, you'll be able to tell. Um, let's get a piece of cardstock. Just got a plain card base here. <clears throat> it will show up better. Okay, it's very juicy, so. Oh, yummy, look at that. Okay, you can see where it's going pinky into red. Oh, yummy squammy. That's nice. Okay, so let's see if we can get a bit of the Blackberry Bliss. So this is now the red going into the Blackberry Bliss. Oh, yes. Oh, yum. So nice. So nice. You can see the colour change. Oh, good. There we go. See, it is. It's darker at the top. That is so yum. Um, Aldi's baby white wipes work really well. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, so let's do some of the darker one in front of there. Now it'll be interesting to see how these dry on the brown bags. Right, we'll come back to that and see how it dries. 
So I want to see what these leaves would look like. Yeah, you can definitely see kind of a bit of a variegation. We'll just move some stuff out of the way. Let's get some of these leaves. I'm going to do the leaves in the lighter pink keys. we go oh there's one leaf i haven't used yet it's the is this a ginkgo no it's not called a ginkgo no what is this what leaf is this one ginkgo is the wrong word what one do I... please somebody tell me did you wash the felt after each use i didn't see that is still a bit mucky <laughs> from the time before but it doesn't seem to have bothered it too much it, it was kind of drying out <coughs> excuse me and i don't know if some of you who watched a video a few weeks ago or a few days ago i was like why is there ink on the bottom of my ink my stamps right so i got a stamp set and there was like ink at the bottom then i realized i'd been storing these like this on my shelf so the ink had run down and had gone onto my shelf, and so that's why the stamp sets that then went on the shelf got pink. So that's why. So don't store these horizontally. Store them flat. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Jen. Yeah, I was. I was covered in ink before I started. Yeah. <laughs> I am so messy. Super messy. Right. I think just a little... Just for you. Or should we do a few of those? There we go. Yeah, definitely store your ink pads flat for sure. For sure. Right, I'm thinking what about if I put a little bit of Knight of Navy at the top there? Just got to grab it out of my neutrals box because Stampin' Up have moved. Knight of Navy into neutrals. So I'm just going to put a little bit of blue. So if you haven't heard, those of you in Europe, you can order Tombow now. So any of my customers, you can order up to three bottles at a time. Stampin' Up! assure us that they have ordered plenty of stock in. But in order not to have a bit of a run on things, um, you know, people go a bit crazy and they 
stock up like 20 gazillion bottles they're saying you can just order three at a time also i believe the white craft ink i think is now in stock so uh, if you were waiting on that you can purchase that now as well um i'm wondering what about doing a little bit of um a circle mask just trying to see if I've got one on my table. Oh, 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 I've got to tell you guys. <laughs> sorry, sorry to shock you. Um, you know, I lost that E, that E die, the letter E, rather, not the pill. Uh, <laughs> um, I found it today. Woohoo! Um, as I was sorting out my order and looking through my own, my personal catalogue, I found it. Um, I was so happy because I then could get on and plan some projects and stuff. So, um, yes. So, oh, you did see it. <laughs> yeah, I posted it on my social media. I think I posted it on my Facebook group. Um, I was like, yay, I found it. I'm so pleased. Okay, I'm just getting my two and a quarter inch punch here just to punch myself a little mask I just received more storage for my ink pads and got excited to get them yay now you want to go to bed oh oh you want to go to bed because your shelves are there I finally resorted my paper into, resorted into the revamped colours. Oh, cool. Yeah, it is. It is good to sort them into the new colour families. It, I found it helps. I did have my ink pads temporarily in sort of more colour order, but I couldn't cope because um, I still haven't completely learnt them. Oh, it's made such a difference putting that blue on it. And I'm, again, I'm hoping that once it, once, <laughs> once it dries, it you'll be able to see, really see the difference. Right, let's get that little one, a little leaf. Okay, so the only thing about doing this is making sure that you're putting your stamp back in the same position. So you've got the blue, remember we've got blue going into purple, into red, into pink. So you just have to remember which side you're using if you want to keep repeating it. Okay, I'm not thinking this too much. I'm just uh, stamp happy. I am stamping away. Oh, I like it. Oh, I like it. Thank you, Linda. Sorry I've gone quiet, it's because I'm enjoying myself so much. Right, 
Right, and then I suppose we could take that off or we could just do a little bit of, just pick up a little bit of the colour off there and do a bit of sponging around the edge. And this is just so that the, when I take the mask off, it looks kind of a little bit more obvious. There we go. Ta-da! Will that fit inside? Well, you think it will? Let's go for a dark colour. There we go. Oh, that is nice. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind seeing what that's like on some white cardstock, actually. Oh, should I do a one sheet wonder? Some card, what have I got here? Whisper white. Right, let's do the technique where we do something from the middle and radiate outwards okay let's do that one it's a really simple one so we're going to score so whatever size cardstock you use and whatever region you are just score halfway turn it and score halfway So I know you guys can't see that, but I can. So, let's get a leaf in here. What does it look like once you open the bag? It's just the block bottom bag. Um, who asked that? Linda. It's just one of those type of bags. So it's still got, you know, it's got space at the top. Oh, thank you, Amy. Yes, please give it a go. Do you have this stamp set or something similar? There we go. So it's, there's quite a lot of space in it. I mean, this is six inches across. So, I mean, you could get, oh, you could get two bottles of bubble bath in there or two small bottles of wine or some biscuits or I don't know. It's quite, it's quite a big one. And much as I love seeing all the bags and boxes that people make with Stampin' Up! products, I'm not, I personally uh, would rather spend the time stamping, to be quite honest. That's me. So, um, yeah. There we go. Did anyone else watch what? You'd like the landscape artists of the... Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I'll put that out. What program, what channel was that on, Christine? I'm not a box maker either. I just want stamp make cards. <laughs> Meet for Sheila. I mean, I don't mind stamping to make things. I just, I suppose I just like making patterns. I like the sense of control, you know, to mark make. Really, that's ultimately what it is, isn't it? It's mark making. Okay, so I'm, so that was with the blue and the purple and the red. So now I'm just kind of trying to aim for the pink and the, the red here. So it's slightly lighter and I'm just kind of filling in, trying to fill in the gaps a little bit. <gasps> Thank you, Linda. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you. Keep it up. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. 
I don't even know if that's a song. I just made that up. So the first stamp, stamping with the custom ink pad, as I said, because it's quite juicy, you do lose a little bit of the detail. But then when you do the second generation, you get a better impression. Should we try third generation and see what happens? Ah, there we go. Third. Fourth. Fifth. So, yeah, it's worth playing with all the different, you know, stampings offs, if you know what I mean. Should we do that again? Because that was just so fun. One, two, three, four, five. That's a lot, isn't it? That's just from one inking. Let's do that again. Do that again. One, two. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. It was meant to be that way around, but never mind. I've started so I'll finish. I'm actually doing it the wrong way. It's oh, never mind. Let's go that way. Sorry, the yeah, the stem. I've done the stem that way, but I don't think you can tell too much, can you? Right now, the other thing is, don't forget to stamp from the corners. So, um, I don't know, I'll just, I'll do the, can you see that? Oh, I'll do that there. <coughs> if I do that, you'll be able to see. I can see butterfly or angel wings. Just made it up, made it up, just made it up, made it up. It sounds like the shark song, but I'm not going to sing it. Butterfly or angel wings, yeah. That would be nice. Okay, so remember, you know how I say that if you stamp off and you've got a line there, You've got to then stamp further over so you don't show the line again. So I'll just stamp off there just to do these ones. Sky Arts. Ah, oh, I don't get Sky. It might. I presume they might have done a blog post about it or something, so I'll try and find it. I love looking at all types of art to get inspiration. It's so important. You know, we can feed off each other, really. Right, I'm thinking just to fill in some of this area here, I'm just going to do that. Because it looked a bit funny with it. Yeah. Oh, this is so fun. Do you think we need another stamp or shall we just see what it looks like cut up? Much as I do love that, that one. Um, maybe some splatters. What, um, mm, 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 mm. let's have a think. What's got some splatters? Um, oh, gallery grunge. Let's have a look. Um, oh no, 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 no. Um, 
maybe artisan textures or um, <laughs> just something very delicate My mind has painted Wink of Stella on some of the leaves. Oh, has it now? I have got some Wink somewhere. We can try that out in a second. So, let's try some of this in the darker section of my custom ink pad and just see what happens here. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I like that. Don't forget to kind of like turn the stamp as you use it, because otherwise it kind of gets a bit obvious that you've used it in the same direction if you don't. I did not order this morning and I had to order the ladybugs. She, I didn't realise we could order the ladybirds, you know. Maybe I should have looked into that a bit more. I thought I thought we couldn't. I'll tell you what I did order though. So if anyone's interested in signing up with Stampin' Up, in January they've got a special offer. That for £99 you get £130 of product plus... You're going to get their new mini guillotine trimmer and a six by four, is it 48 sheets? Basically, you get a sampler, a six by six sampler of all the papers that are in the new mini catalogue, the spring mini catalogue, which I think is super useful. And um, also you get, I think you can choose a free stamp set from the main catalogue as well, whatever stamp set you want. So you can choose like, like the most expensive one if you want to. So, so if anyone's interested in saving a few pennies, then basically by signing up, it means that you can order products at a discount. So um, you could. Oh, never mind. Oh, well, I'll wait for it. Right, so I am now cutting. So I did score this at halfway. So I'm now cutting at halfway minus a little bit. So for me, that's 10 centimetres. For you guys in the States, that would be um, eight, uh, eight and a half divided by two is four and a quarter. So four and two eighths. Is that right? No, it's not. One eighth. Ah, there we go, Wanda. I thought that was right. Yeah, so if you went to on stage, you could order them. Yeah, I thought I thought that was the case. So I haven't missed out. Yeah, I ordered the mini trimmer as well because I've wanted one for ages for my personal use and also I wanted to show people who are interested in signing up what it actually looks like so that's why I ordered it oh these are so yum I don't know if I've got a colour ready cut what have I got here oh there's a red bit of merry mellow 4.25 by five and a half, there we go. Yay, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I know this is the wrong purple. It needs Blackberry Bliss, but this is gorgeous grape. Oh, 
I called them ladybugs and got shouted down by top UK demo. Delighted that there's a ladybug suit. Yeah, it's very, yeah, we, I suppose the Americans call them ladybugs. We call them ladybirds, don't we? But they are bugs, I guess. Call them what you want, Christine. Call them what you want. Right, so that's looking gorgeous. It's only four inches wide. Doesn't work for me. It's only four inches wide, Sheila. What's only four inches wide? Thank you, Tracy. Yeah, the Americans call it ladybugs, don't you? Right, I fancy, because this ink pan is still juicy, I fancy doing another one. And I'm thinking, what about stamping? That tree thing right in the middle. Right, so again, I'm just scoring this so that I know what I'm aiming for. four inches what four inches wide yeah I think I think the whole point of these little mini ones is it's more for cutting matting layers it's not really designed to be cutting big sheets of paper it's when you have these little scraps and you're trying to cut a little matting layer for something that's for me that's what I would be using it for it's not for cutting big big sheets like this at all Monica and Subo. Okay, so ooh. Okay, so when you're inking a bigger stamp, you really have to work it a bit. And I think I'm actually going to stamp off because that is really jolly juicy. And then aim for the middle. It's okay. It's okay. I think let's do something a bit wacky. Let's just do some trees now. And this tree will reach all the way up to the the purple and the navy there. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the paperwork about it. Hold on. Um, just hold, bear with. I don't think I can show it you. I'm just going to look at it off camera. Yeah, it's four and a bit inches. It looks like it's 11 centimetres across. So it goes up to there. So that's four and a quarter. Um, yeah, I'd say it's about four and a quarter inches. I'm looking at the picture in the brochure right now. So yeah, so the starter kit is 99 pounds or 129 euros. 
you get 130 pounds of product you get a new mini paper cutter you get a six by six designer series paper sampler of all the papers in the spring summer catalogue and your choice of any stamp set offered in current catalogues post sets and celebration sets excluded so you can't choose a celebration set and you can't choose a host set but that's fine because all you need to do if you want those is you place an order after you've signed up which you get at a discount so to earn celebration freebies you have to spend 45 pounds but if you're a demo that doesn't actually cost you 45 pounds it costs you that minus oh uh when you start off it, it works out about that minus 15 percent so, there we go. Hi, Carol. Yeah, I I placed an order this morning. I closed off my um oh blah 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 November order, my November workshop order, and then I spent a few hours faffing around trying to sort out what I wanted. And I had a check back this evening and my first order, I mean, it was fair enough. It wasn't very much in it, but it, it's already picked. So I was very impressed, very impressed. Right. Let's have a look. I think we could just stamp this little tree, this tiny little tree here. Yes, it's very Japanese. Sorry, I'm not ignoring your comments. Um, Subo says... Yeah, it does, doesn't it? I think it's because they they've got the in their flag they've got the sort of the sun, haven't they, and the rays and everything. So let's try and just stamp a few of these trees around the place. might be nice on a basic grey background. What, stamping onto a basic grey? Like if this background was basic grey? Or if you mean mounting it? Need to read some photos and write more. Memory, making memories kits. Sorry, what was that in reference to? I think I need some birds in here. Um, look, birds. So this is the other stamp set I borrowed from my friend. So I was trying to think, how can I work this into this? broadcast tonight this episode let's have a look right let's do this in the night of navy oh, so nice oh my goodness so gorgeous okay so just a tip, keep the trees away, keep the birds away from the trees, otherwise it looks a bit odd. There's not enough contrast. This is such an interesting way of working. And this would make a great scrapbook layout. You, you could have a photo in the centre instead and then just have, you know, this going on. Um, I feel like I need... I don't know, I feel I need something to define that little edge a bit more. Mm, 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 
maybe not. Maybe it's fine as it is. By accident, I splattered. I don't know how I did it, but I splattered here, and it looks really nice. Um, oh, I wonder if I can dip my brush. And you know that old toothbrush technique where you brush it, do that? Mm, no, maybe not. I'll try again. Get more ink on it. I'm going to have to wash this brush out afterwards. Oh, it's working. It's very, very delicate. <laughs> oh my goodness, so messy. It looks nice though. I know you guys might not be able to see that very well, but it does look really pretty. On Stampin' Up! site announcements, the Little Ladybug stamp set will be available for demonstrators for purchase with a limit of one during pre earn I was wrong. Oh, can it? Oh, that's useful. Is Tra Tracy, are you watching? Because Tracy's desperate for that stamp set. She's a demo. Tracy, you can purchase it. Tracy might have gone to bed. Oh, well, I'll let her know. Okay, I'm not going to get much more out of that. I think a, a toothbrush would work better. I'm so going to have to wash this out. <laughs> right, let's close that. Let me get a baby wipe for my fingers because this is getting a bit silly. I went to on stage and already had it, so I wasn't trying to. I am. Yes, I am from bed. Did I wake you up? Or do you mean I am in bed? <laughs> So Wanda seems to think, Wanda says that on the Stampin' Up! site, it says that you can order that um, Ladybug stamp set. So if it's, if it's $31, oh no, it's $23 in America, so it'll probably cost us £21, £20, £21, I think. She's in bed. Did I wake you up, Tracy? Oh, the last card could have looked nice on basic grey. Ah, okay. The leafy ones, Ellie. Sorry. I thank you for typing that again. No, that's fine. I can figure it out from what you said. No night, Christine. Sleep well. These are so unusual, but I like them. I like it. Let me go and grab some basic grey and some Knight of Navy. Oh, I'm out of basic grey. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't find my basic grey right now.
can't sleep in this knee. <laughs> oh, thanks, Tracy. Are you suffering from FOMO? Fear of missing out. Oh, this Knight of Navy's got a bit of a kink in the bottom of this one, but anyway, I'll cut it and I won't use this piece. Oh, I should have got a piece of Blackberry Bliss. There we go. How fun are those? I love all this white space. And there's space there for an, a sentiment if you wish to put one. Yeah, no problem. And here as well. Lots of space. Right, so there you have it. We've done lots of stamping with the Rooted in Nature stamp set. Uh, we've done bags with the baby wipe technique. And we also did bags with the pigment sprinkles and just plain old stamping. Good old stamping. Can't beat it. So there we go. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope that's inspired you. Please go forth and create. And don't forget to share what you make on my Artful Stamping space. I'd love to see what you make after watching these videos. And if you've been inspired and you want and you haven't got the stamps please please head to artfulstampin.co.uk and you can purchase any of the products that you've seen me use today and do check out the closing out sale because they've announced what products are going to be leaving us uh, come January so um, today is Giving Tuesday so here so I donated to a dog rescue and sent you something on paper oh I wonder that's so kind of you thank you that's very kind of you. Actually, it's funny, actually. I have been thinking, there's there's a couple of charities that I'm, I am su I support. Well, there's quite a few charities I support, but there's two that I was thinking of giving to. Um, so I'm not necessarily going to give them to today, but um, um, there's one I certainly do want to give to. It's a, a charity I support in South Africa that works with children with HIV, and they run a, an amazing day centre. And I had an email recently to say, asking for prayer, because they are rapidly rapidly running out of funds and unfortunately a few years ago when they changed the system from um how they process donations to a different company they lost contact with a whole load of donors and they weren't able to reconnect with them so they lost a whole load of funding so i i mean i we we support the organization monthly but um they reached out and asked for some some new donors or some well for prayer for donors so um i'm going to be donating to them so there we go but there we go it doesn't have to be a giving tuesday to give you know if you have if you are blessed and you have extra and you see a need then please give as you can see that need because there's always somebody out there who's more needy than us and and i think you know sometimes we can get a bit oh my goodness there's so much need there's so many people that need our help but i think if the lord brings into your path those people that he lays on your heart then that's for a reason so listen to that voice and give as you can so thank you so much for your ongoing support. Um, I really, really, really do appreciate it because um, your support means that I don't have to dip into my family's funding. I, I can use reuse the funds on here to make more videos for you guys and um, do more YouTube videos and stuff. So that's great. Lovely to see you all. I really appreciate um, you coming on here. You've been helping to flask for homeless. That is so cool, Janice. Is that um through a specific organisation? Is that through like shelter or something like that? That's a really great idea. Flasks. How cool. So simple. Great idea. Please, um, Janice, can you just tell me what organisation that is with? Um. Thank you, Monica. Lovely to see a few of you say hi. Hi, Barbara Gmina. 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 Um, I've not seen you up here 
before yeah please remember to give me a thumbs up and to share out the video if you like it remember you can share it out through your channel or your 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 account um it's a local initiative okay that's excellent fabulous okay have i missed any uh, any comments Okay, so if I've missed any comments, please, uh, when this video is over, do mes either message me or post in the comments below and I'll happily answer any questions. Uh, just to go over the colours again um, for the custom ink pad. This is just a piece of felt that I used. Oh, look, you can see the colour gone through to the other side. I use Night of Navy, then Blackberry Bliss, Real Red and then Melon Mambo. And I use Blackberry Bliss and Navy Night of Navy on the bags and use the pigment sprinkles. So there we go. Um, right, lovely to see you guys. Oh, nice to meet you, General Lee. <laughs> I think I'll be blocking you, mate. <laughs> um nice to see you guys take care bye